Hello, um, I couldn't find much information about this machine I just got. I've had it about two weeks. I've been restoring it. Um, it's a Pegasus EXT 3216-03-233. Um, I got it on Craigslist for a really good deal. I made a new top for it. The old one was really gross and falling apart. Um, so I used three quarter inch plywood and glued two layers together and I made this so it has a really nice hinge and it opens easy. I put a servo motor on it, took off the clutch and I love how it stitches. Um, I replaced the oil, the oil filter. I'll tell you later how I did that. So what it is, is it's a five thread safety stitch overlocker. It has a a chain stitch on the back. So here's your three threads over here, and then this is your fourth, and then your fifth is this chain stitch in the back. Um, this machine is for medium weight to heavy weight fabric, like jeans. Um, you would typically see this in like an industrial setting. It's not really a home use industrial. From what I gather, they were, they're very expensive, new. Um, they're a very smooth, beautiful machine. I'm really excited to have it. Let me just show you quickly how it stitches. So notice there's a, another feed dog at the top. So it's a dual feed machine. So it feeds the fabric really well, especially if it's thick fabric. Um, one thing I couldn't figure out was how, like what is this adjustment here? And that's actually what adjusts the feed on the top. Um, I haven't adjusted it, so I don't know which way you move it to change the feed. You know, I guess you'll just have to figure that out. So let me show you the cones of thread. You have, this is your lower looper, upper looper, left needle, right needle, and then your fifth thread, which is your chain stitch. So this is kind of confusing. Why is my left needle over here on the right? But when you get down here, they kind of swap places over in this area. I don't know why it's set up that way, but that's how it's set up. Um, another thing about this machine is it actually has differential feed, meaning it has two sets of feed dogs underneath. I, you can't see them here, but this is how you change the differential feed, this little black knob here. Um, and what else would you want to know about this machine in particular? Um, the fifth thread, it comes down this tube on the back side of the machine, down through this other tube, and then you open this up. And it comes through here and through a third looper right there. The threading actually isn't that difficult at all. It has this thread guide here. So this is for your fifth thread. And you can see those tubes there in the back. Um, your lower looper, upper looper, left needle, right needle. Um, and I actually did try to leave out the fifth thread just to see what it does, and it obviously won't stitch the, the stitch there on the left. So I actually took out the left thread needle and it just sewed this stitch here on the right, which was awesome. So you could do just three threads if you wanted, if you didn't want this safety stitch. Um, to change the stitch length, there's a button here. You press that in while you're turning the hand wheel. You turn it in the direction of this arrow and you can feel it engaging. And I can't remember if you turn it the opposite way or keep turning with the arrow to change the stitch length. I messed around with it a little bit, but I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, to change the oil, in a regular like um, factory setting, you might change it every six months. That's what it says on the back for the oil filter. But if you're just using it for home use, not using it that much, I don't know how often you would need it to do it, maybe a year or even two. To do that, you need to take the machine out of the table 
and there's an oil plug here. You t unscrew that, tip the machine so the oil all comes out. There's this oil pan here on the bottom. Um, you'll want to unscrew that because there's going to be a lot of sludge in the bottom that you're going to want to take out. And then in the back of the machine, you can see that yellow sticker. It says, clean or replace every six months. That's where the oil filter is. And it looks like this. You can buy them for about $5 on eBay. I just searched for Pegasus overlocker filter. Um, the needles are B27, also easy to come by. The knives are also easy to come by, which I was grateful for. This is the lower knife, 202295. The upper knife is 201121A. And the upper knife was about $7, the lower knife was about $5. And um, you just need a typical 1.5 millimeter hex uh, Allen screw to loosen the needles. And you can see there. So let me just run the machine for you so you can see. I guess I already did a little bit. Another thing for the oil, you put it in here, you can see this little clear bubble. You need to see the oil splashing or bubbling in there when you're running the machine. That's what I read um, a few places. If you don't see oil in there, it's probably too low. Let's see if you can see it. Did you see that? And then to check the level of your oil, you probably won't be able to see it. There's this little window here, let's see. There's two red lines, and you want your oil level to be in between them. So I think that's that for this machine. It's uh, very easy to thread, very smooth, I love it. It's way better than my domestic cheap plastic serger. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.